How y'all feeling, man? It's the GOAT God ISO God Grandmaster Sensei. The most efficient ISO player in existence. Now look, we we got a lot of stuff to talk about this video, man. We we gonna talk about young Baluba talking about <laughs> unpluckable, you know? Um looking into cooling down, you know, the lockdown um spam square cheese. Paint defense. This is all for patch six, guys. And um, him addressing unpluckable, which basically means it's not getting buffed anymore because they, they can't do anything, I guess. That's what I'm assuming. And apparently, you know, and patch six should be coming here in the next couple weeks, bro. And then me just flaming the, the stupid. Ooh. Hey, if y'all looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K20 account with high rep, max badges, and more, hit up Young Sports. His link will be in the description. Make sure to use um, Swante on checkout and the whole badge grinding thing. He does all that. So. This screen community. But hey, before I get into this video, man, make sure y'all drop a like. Helps the Young channel grow. So if you mess with me in any type of way, Drop a like, subscribe if you new, and also if you looking for players to play with, bro. I know a lot of y'all got trash records, and you always looking for people to play with. Join my Discord. It is in my description. Okay? Yeah. Also, follow me on Twitch after you watch a few videos after this video. I'm the most entertaining streamer in the 2K community. No try by far. Follow my Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk everything in description follow all my other stuff but yeah so let's get into this video bro so shout out to zay bro because i don't really be in people's streams bro on twitch especially and whenever um baluba goes into other people's streams you know he sends me the screenshots let me know what happened blah 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 so i can let y'all know what happened because i know y'all don't always be in streams too anywho so i guess they was complaining about unpluckable correct and Baluba responds, if I remove those auto protect steel animations, which I guess that's unpluckable activating. When people start spamming square, unpluckable activates and gives you those animations. But what is happening in the game is people view it as there's no penalty. Five, five fouls, they could just, <laughs> they get free five, bro, they get free as a team. They get free 15 fouls to just spam square, spam square, not time square, spam square. If you're playing a comp team or a YouTuber or a streamer, this happens to me all the time, bro. People don't even care about winning, bro. They don't want you to do anything, bro. They'll come up to you and press square because they know there's no confidence. There's no, there's no repercussions bro you take over if you get a foul your takeover should cut more than it does and also your shooting print all that should go down if you gonna if you're gonna keep reaching on me and fouling bro all that should go down or there should be some cooldown bro or maybe both but what, what is happening now bro is bro because when you play comp i'm telling you a lot of y'all, you probably don't understand what I'm saying, but I'm talking about at the higher level or just like mid tier or just smart people in general. You'll 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 realize, hey, I could just keep spamming square on this guy. He's a good guard. Let me just go up to him, spam square, annoy the fat of him, maybe get a few steals off of it. And it don't even matter if you're a lock or nothing, bro. Like you don't they don't have to dribble. You just go up to him, spam square. OK, you might get the steal. You might not. You got four more times to do that. And then when your time is over and you in foul trouble, you switch off. It's broken, bro. You feel me? What needs to happen is they need to get caught in some crazy animations for bad um, steals or something. Or there needs to be a cooldown for pressing square to where it like slows you down or something to where you like. And then you just, you know, because what's happening now is I don't know, bro. But he basically says if he removes those auto protect animations that we're going to see a lot more steals. Unpluckable as a whole is extremely broke. 
it doesn't work it's not broken but it's like it doesn't work when people just come up and spam square bro well maybe i guess it is working but it's not good enough bro there has to be a penalty for defenders if we're gonna make a balanced game if you suck then just shut up about unpluckable bro okay it's not just pass the ball oh my god pass the ball pass the ball pass, pass the ball you scared of getting ripped pass the no that's not basketball bro people can dribble the ball okay without being spam people could dribble the ball without be getting caught in animations like that's a foul g okay people people dribble in real life if you don't know this your favorite player dribbles anyways um bp asked for a cooldown so he he said he's gonna look into it bro so maybe patch six that could happen y'all let me know how y'all feel about that if you would like that and yeah and by the way bro after patch six dog i took my stretch big 99 overall stretch big right make sure y'all drop a like if y'all want that video and with steady shooter dog I was greening everything, bro. So I don't know this whole misconception that stretches suck and all this other stuff. And even before the patch, like I was greening everything on the stretch. Like, I don't know why people are saying they're so nerfed and everyone's switching to sharps. They seem fine to me. You just can't run point with them. I don't know. But um, also Baluba talks about paint defense. He says, do you guys think percents are too low? Or that layups are just dropping too much when they are contested. I mean, the contest system in general needs a huge buff, bro. Because I'll be seeing crazy stuff and it'll only say like a little bit, like a like 10%. You know, it's crazy. But I see when people be getting hundreds, them they go in, bro. You know, um, it doesn't seem like you're gonna be able to fix open layups going in at certain um when certain animations are triggered when people launch from certain distances and all that other stuff. So, I mean, I guess we just gonna have to go with the open missed layups and, um, but you gotta fix them contested layups, G. That's ridiculous. I can understand if sometimes people behind people, but making it on somebody, 100%, nah. You know, get that out the game. Now, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael Wang tweets, okay this has the whole community in an uproar bro if you're still getting ripped too often with hall of fame unpluckable it's possible that you are over dribbling too close to the defender that is not facts okay i'm gonna disprove that people literally will just catch the ball move a little or not even move and they're spamming square and people are being ripped person could just be walking not even dribbling and a guy just goes and just rips him. Center, no stealing badges. Their, their steal rating is lower than the ball handle rating. And they don't have pickpocket on anything. So it's broken. Okay? People are allowed to dribble. In real life, we should be allowed to dribble in the video game. Don't make it like 2K15. But in 2K15, bro, you could not rip niggas, dog. Oh, my oh moses it was so hard to rip people it was just too much but in general bro you don't see Kyrie getting stripped from centers okay you don't see lebron getting stripped so what what, what needs to happen is it needs to be like 70 percent of what 2k 15 was when it comes to ball security Lit, like 70s you know something like that you need to go that route i don't know how y'all did it if that was a different engine or something but you gotta go that route bro because th this is ridiculous he says you might want to try being more efficient with your moves and make sure to have enough space to pull them off that's dumb bro okay that's how i used to play um well that's not how i used to play that's how i play in general because it's always people always trying to spam me and stuff so when I do my moves, I'm never dribbling in no one's face. But I would I would like to be able to dribble in someone's face sometimes just based off of my rating and their rating, bro. You shouldn't be able to do that to me. I got these badges, I got these 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 stats. ISO is real. Kyrie dribble in front of all the time. 
No repercussion in front of Kyle Korver. No repercussion. That dude's getting cooked. People need to get cooked. That's what basketball is built on, being cooked. Mismatch, cook. Not mismatch, square. No, bro. Fix that. When people get on an island, they need to be on the island. They need to get cooked, not square save them, bro. But, um, yeah, bro. I mean, that is good advice to just not, like, avoid being in someone's face. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that, you know? I can understand if it's a lock and all that and blah, 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 even though locks aren't real. But there are lockdowns, but not these pure lockdowns that 2K has created that are greater defenders than Scottie Pippen in his prime. You feel me? But anyways, um, the daily spin now resets at 12 p.m. Sp sp <laughs> Pacific, 3 a.m. Eastern. I know most of y'all on the East Coast. So 3 a.m. Eastern. Instead of at 24-hour intervals, this hopefully will be easier to keep track of. Thanks to the devs. Shout out to y'all. I love you, devs. Y'all did a lot. Y'all did a lot of good stuff. You did some good stuff, but a lot of stuff really messed up. Okay, uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't complaining to try and make myself more OP. Some of y'all say that I I critique the game to create balance, bro. That's my only balance. That's it. But now this is this is actually dope because I know people, they always try to be like, oh, 24 hours, I did this then, I did this then. Now we'll be able to get more spins overall throughout the year. Um, there's a lot of issues with um, blue screens, people bringing in old parks, the quitting screen. When people quit once, they can't get off the screen, blah, blah, blah. Basically, LD2K saying that they addressed the new issues and that... Um, the new issues with the invite switching archetypes and upcoming patch. So you know that that's a major thing. So that that means the patch is coming soon, bro. Has to be. And um LD2K said can't really give out ETAs estimated times of arrivals. If you guys didn't know, I know a lot of y'all young dumb niggas don't know what ETA means. It's an abbreviation for estimated times <laughs> time of arrival. Something like that. Okay? So Drop a like if you knew that. <laughs> Drop a like if you didn't know that. <laughs> Always like my videos. <laughs> but um, he says, for example, I would have been a week late had I shared latest I heard from last patch. Blah, blah, blah. Now, I, I commented under um, Baluba's tweet. I said, give us ankle breaker back immediately since you're not going to fix unpluckable or nerf screens. It's only fair and buff stamina. Okay. Now, here's here's what here's what a lot of y'all think or just a lot of bad players or casuals think, right? So this guy says, just pass the ball. ISO not gonna work this year how it did in previously. People say that every year. I ISO people's souls away. Okay. I tell him, I can ISO anyone every year. It's not hard. Stop saying stupid things. I just say these things every year to try and get a balanced game. Then homie Stepper responds and said, You might be nice like that, but in general, ISO players want the game tailor-made for them. That's not true. Unlimited stamina so they can spam dribble moves? That's not true. Nerf screens because they don't have pick dodger? That's not true. Buff on pluckable? Y'all want to do everything, ain't it? I say, Drop a like if you're part of the ISO Academy. <laughs> no, ISO players want a balanced game. We want to be a part of the meta since ISO is more efficient than screens, especially in park. Nigga. <laughs> we want unlimited stamina for faster overall gameplay and realism not to spam moves now guess what let me drop some knowledge on y'all young y'all old dumb nick all y'all screen abusers okay so look when unlimited stamina was in the game 2k 16 and below were, were there was there as much spam as 17 to 20 no there wasn't so why do people in the community keep saying that people want unlimited stamina so they can spam more moves. It's clearly not true, bro. 
that was true, wouldn't that have happened in the past 2Ks more than it does now? People still can dribble out the whole shot clock, bro. You just have to find moves that require less stamina, but you shouldn't have to use those little glitchy moves. In 2K16, the reason people didn't dribble out the shot clock, bro, is because defense was amazing. Speed was amazing. All you gotta do is make a game where defense is amazing, stamina is unlimited, ankle breakers are low, and you have the perfect formula. If you dribbled in 16, you, you, you tried to do all that, you're getting clamped. The whole clock, bro, it doesn't matter. Then you look stupid and you're gonna quit. You're gonna get real bullied and everyone will get hyped. Stop all that dribble, blah, blah, blah. You know, but yeah, bro, like you, you guys have to stop with that, with that stuff, bro, because unlimited stamina is real, okay? <laughs> In a game to 21, bro, Kyrie is not getting tired. And I also said nerf screens because they're unrealistic. Yes, they are. The hard screens thing, they're extremely unrealistic. They're overpowered and they reduce the skill gap dramatically. That's why 99% of the players use screens people play to win not for fun that's why they use screens and they try to abuse them okay now pick dodger does not work this is why we also say we want buff to pick dodger because we're putting on pick dodger and it's not working people have hall of fame pick dodger and people have bronze brick wall and they're still flooring them it makes no sense people still getting caught up in screens with pick dodger it's not working this is why we say buff, buff pick dodger, cause that's realistic and it'll create a bigger skill and fun gap. Pick dodger literally doesn't work. Also 99 ball handling builds get ripped by centers, etc. That's why we want a buff to unpluckable. Stop assuming things just cause people say them. It's not true, this is very true. A lot of bad people or stretch bigs or whatever, they like to create this false notion so things won't get fixed, bro. Be that would make them obsolete and that scare them, bro. People don't want more stamina because they're scared, bro. They're scared of how they'll get cooked. I promise you. But hey, that's the video. <laughs> Y'all let me know all the issues down below that you're experiencing after the new patch. And yeah, bro, make sure y'all go to the gym seven days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Drop a like if you have a spam I. If you made it this far in the comment, go watch all my other videos. Um, I'll be dropping a vid tomorrow. And um, click on one of these four videos, bro. Appreciate all the love.